Ugh. Well. Hello again, everyone. This one's gonna be a lot easier. I put it back down to 4K, 60 frames per second instead of 8K. I need to be testing all the other ones. I'm also paying attention to the weather to see when the next thunderstorm will be. Might have another one tomorrow, I think. Maybe during the day, but it's subject, it's subject to change. It's Oklahoma, what do, what do you expect? But I'm going back to the store because there are things, yet again, I must get. The barbecue sauce that I used on the chicken a few days ago was a little too spicy for Buttercup. Really, really tangy too. I had a little too much of it and it left my tongue feeling a bit raw. But we do have some other barbecue, barbecue, but I'm just on my way to the store again. The humidity is still up. It's not as hot as it was yesterday, but it's definitely more humid. My lungs do not like humidity, so my lungs are definitely tightening up right now. It's not great. But I just need to hurry on to the store. Maybe say hello to a few people, because uh, most of the people at the stores around here, they all know me. So that's because I am a, uh, a regular, I guess you could say. I'm a regular. Especially over at um, Dollar General, I'm a regular over there. I'm a regular at CVS because that's my pharmacy. And I'm a regular at Discount Food because it's within walking distance. I go where, I, where my feet can get me. But I've had a few people over here. Uh, there's a house back there. Can't stand their dogs. Uh, no, back there at the corner because their dogs are mean as hell. Luckily, they've done a lot better at keeping them in the house or in their backyard fenced off where they can't get in the front yard. So it, it's been a while since I've been bit by them, which is good because uh, it got really bad. And they, they learned quick that there's some new people who moved out here that do not tolerate that whatsoever. And I have to agree with those people. You shouldn't have to tolerate people's dogs getting out of their yard and attacking folk. But that's why for like four years, I wouldn't take Buttercup down this, I wouldn't take her anywhere. Because uh, there are too many people who just let their dogs out. And it's been a huge, huge, huge problem that's starting to tone down where there aren't any more there are fewer vicious dogs out but it was it was really bad for a while where i could be, you could barely be in your own yard without being attacked by roaming dogs and uh i know some people would be like well why don't you talk to animal control about it they're vehemently understaffed because it's volunteer only it is strictly volunteer only, and they still want a ton of experience to do it. And they don't even have enough equipment to, you know, efficiently do the job for the volunteers. Really, they just, I guess they don't have the funds to just pay people regularly. Otherwise, I'd be joining in for animal control to help with, ooh, excuse me, to help with like wildlife and stuff. I would do that if I could, but if it's volunteer, I can't put in the risk because it, that means if I get hurt while well, I volunteered for being hurt, I'm not about that. They're not going to have the insurance to, to cover that kind of stuff. And if I do that, my insurance will say, well, you put yourself in a position to be harmed. They should be the one to cover and it just becomes a, a gigantic nightmare of who covers the cost for an injury. Really, we got to do something about insurance agencies in this country because insurance, while it's supposed to help you when something happens, it's turned into them fighting over who doesn't have to pay. While you still have to pay all your premiums, all your, you know, your copay, which is through the roof. But then they try to find every, t like they use lawyers of all kinds to look for any avenue possible to say they're not responsible for your insurance to covering you know their part portion of your health care costs i've seen it happen innumerable times like um the insurance and workers comp uh, where i used to work over at the goodyear factory 
they would use every excuse in the book possible to say they weren't or someone else's employee wasn't at fault for an injury because there was a dude who uh, intentionally struck one of my co-workers with their forklift uh, almost broke his ankle and he had to just live with the injury because my company didn't want to cover the cost because it was the other subcontractor company whose employee intention like admitted he intentionally hit him but the way all of their insurance and all the workers comp worked is they said oh well you're, well your worker which was my co-worker he didn't have his, his uh, earplugs in therefore he's at fault for the injury I know it makes absolutely no sense but these are how insurance and companies work now to avoid responsibility for injuries or anything like that so it, it, it gets into a nasty cycle of insurance trying to avoid avoid their own financial responsibilities and if that's the case we can't have insurance and companies anymore because they're unwilling to release funds when they're supposed to they use lawyers who really their lawyers are eating up their their insurance costs too they eat those costs up because lawyers are expensive and what i did learn several years ago when i went to a hospital and i spoke to a hospital administrator they admitted to me that their primary costs that make you know their health care and their services so much more expensive lawsuits because anytime something needs to happen, a lawyer of some kind, whether it's from insurance, a uh, private person, government, lawyers get involved and it just drives up the cost because lawyers are constantly involved. And um, that's something we got to deal with. Anyway, that was a ramble that I never intended on doing, but I'm stopped over here because I'm trying not to go into a store, a store with a camera running. We had that discussion before, so I'm going to try not to ramble about insurance because I hate it but if you ever want to have a discussion with people about why why healthcare costs in the United States is so much not only is it your insurance but it's lawyers lawyers are too involved with your health care and all of your services that revolve around it all these businesses they're they're choked with regulations and lawsuits and the lawsuits are really to, to dar most of those lawsuits are well who's going to pay because I don't want to kind of thing like if the cost was already down a lawyer's going to say well our insurance doesn't want to have to pay for it they should pay for it and then the person who's like well my insurance won't cover it so they lawyer up and it drives up the cost even for the healthcare providers so it's, it's a vicious vicious cycle so if that there's a a topic to discuss with people if you want to find out why everything's so expensive it's lawyers but anyway i'm gonna get going because i want to get into this store to get some minor shopping done and i might have to go to another store if they don't have what i need so anyway y'all take it easy and i'll see you around